Cultural appropriation? Okay. Like, what is it? I feel like cultural appropriation to me is like taking someone else's culture, then not usually not using it in the right way, but using it in a comedic way, or using it to get like money or profit, but it's not your own culture. And then you wouldn't talk about that culture when like real problems arises with that culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or using it in a disrespectful way. Yeah, I think like the lack of respect for that culture and then, then it's like being seen as like, oh cool or edgy when like white people do it, but then like when black people do it, it's like called ghetto, like right, like cornrows for example. It's like, you know, you see all the fashion magazines and all the articles that are like, oh like Kim Kardashian's like boxer braids and all the black people are like, what is that? Like I had I had braids like that, like mm -hmm. all through elementary school. And like mm -hmm. that is like, you know? Yeah. So Yeah, that's the main thing I feel like. It's not as much about like representing that culture, but it's more so when you're not giving credit where it's due. Yeah. So when you try to make it seem like it's your own, like that's when it's appropriation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Examples, like we have the box braids, but. Uh. Ooh, yes. Okay, um. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all know those beauty supply stores? And you know those like cheap, big hoop, like bamboo hoops? Uh -huh. yeah. uh, that's the stuff, especially yeah. back in the day. Yeah. yeah. But now, it, you know, that's like edgy and stuff now. Uh -huh. And they want to like charge like $30 for it at like mm -hmm. fancy white people's store. Mm -hmm. And I can go down the street to my uh, view squad store and get it for like a dollar. Mm -hmm. Like that is an example. Mm -hmm. Or like wearing dreads as a white person. I don't think, as a white person, you can't physically have dreads. Your hair is matted, and that means you do not wash it, and it's dirty. But like black people, like when you have natural hair, it can form dreads over a period of time. I just think that's respectful, and then people see it as like cool and hippie when you're a white person, but when a black person does it, you think it's dirty, mm -hmm. or like, oh, that person's a hobo. Yeah, like, yeah. exactly like Zendaya. There was the mm -hmm. whole thing about her yeah. on the red carpet where she yeah. was wearing dreads. Mm -hmm. And then on some like fashion TV show, whatever. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it smells like weed or it smells mm -hmm. dirty. Yeah. Like hot porn. Really. Yeah. Or even they talk about that with the weekend too. Mm -hmm. But I think there was some T TMZ guy who was in the room and they were like, oh, does he, so does he wash his hair? And there was one other black guy in the room and he was just like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> he had just had it with all these people because mm -hmm. it's, it's offensive and it's like, it's, it's showing how you obviously don't know anything about the the thing or the, the this cultural yeah. um, like object or or like phenomenon that you're mm -hmm. that you're trying to discuss or trying to make judgments about. Mm -hmm. But then in other situations, it's the thing to do. It's like cool, edgy, hip, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or like for models, when like they cast white mo like Gigi Hadid, uh, like had a had did had a shoot where she had like an afro mm -hmm. and others I'm like did you not find any black person to do it like why does it have to be a white person but, like i know in cases of like this time i'm gonna use like africa as a general term where people have like tribal marks and stuff in their mm -hmm. face but i'm like you don't even know what that means you probably could be cursing yourself and you don't know <laughs> that and i just think that's disrespectful because sometimes people of like higher class or like a status are the ones who wear it and then everyone's wearing it and that kind of disregards that level of yeah. So I think like for people that are like confused about like where is the line, like how do I know if I'm like appropriating culture, like it's okay to like, it's okay to listen to rap, it's okay to listen to gospel music, it's okay to like, you know, like, you know, things that, you know, we would consider black culture, but I think like respect, number one, for like, like give credit where credit's due. And I think also like if you want to listen to like, you know, all these like rappers and stuff, like be there for like black issues, care about Black Lives Matter, care about like black people. Um, and don't just like use our culture as something to like take when you want it. Like everyone wants to be black when they like, when it's like cool. It's like, oh yeah, we're being When, when Juju on the beat comes on. Everybody's yeah. like, Everybody, yeah. everybody wants to be black when yeah. it's cool, but like honestly, there's so many times yeah. when it's not cool, it's not fun, mm -hmm. it's not cool to be black. So it's like, we just ask like mm -hmm. that you like stand with us in those times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely.